The name ferrite comes from the composition of the material, which is mostly iron-rich ferrous rock. This material was created on accident by Dr. David Stone. Stone initially threw out his failed science experiment, but shortly after realized that the material could potentially replace cement. Ferrock is created from waste steel dust and silica from ground up glass. Upon reaction with carbon dioxide, it creates iron carbonate, which binds carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into the ferrock. Ferrock's greatest strength lies within its eco friendly properties. 95% of ferrock is made from recycled materials. Although ferrock releases CO2 during production, it also absorbs large, large amounts of CO2 as it hardens. This makes ferroc effective in permanently locking in greenhouse gases. This unique trait may catch the attention of those who wish to lower their carbon footprint in the future. In addition to being eco-friendly, ferroc is also a durable material. Ferroc can withstand more compression before breaking and is far more flexible than Portland cement. With all of these positive traits, ferroc sounds like it is a material that could be used today. David Stone, the inventor of ferroc, says he sees it as an important new material to be developed. He claims there is only so much Portland cement that can be made, and he believes the industry needs an alternative to the carbon positive process of creating cement. His ferroc might be just that. Ferrock uses waste steel dust from industrial processes to create a material that is like cement. This material is well sustainable, strong, and environmentally superior to regular cement. Ferrock's environmental advantage compared to cement is that it usually releases carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. With ferric, the carbon dioxide is trapped and absorbed when drying, causing the greenhouse gas to diffuse into the mixture. It reacts to the material in the ferric mixture, causing it to react with the iron to become part of the material's mineral matrix. Ferric is significantly stronger than cement and compressive and flexural strength, causing it to be able to withstand more stress before breaking. Cracking and breaking is usually caused by the rusting of the iron dust. It can be used in salt water and other environments that would be too corrosive for cement. Pros and cons of ferric. Pros of ferric include its drastic strength increase compared to cement. Ferric has a more compressive and flexural strength compared to cement, which makes it able to withstand more stress. Another is the ability to trap greenhouse gases and use it in the mixture to harden and create ferric. This shows ferric's ability to be environmentally safer compared to concrete that emits greenhouse gases while processing the limestone needed to make cement. Ferric shows that it can decrease the carbon dioxide emitted because of its ability to absorb it and trap it in its process. Cons of ferric. Cons of ferric is its unknown cost and viability. Because we don't know how well it will work and how much it will cost to keep using it and producing the material, with these unknown factors, it is hard to invest in it and making more of the product. Another con is proving how well it can scale its manufacturing. This means how well it can increase this product and create more of it to be produced and sold. So trying to find this out causes it to be a downfall. Barack is an upcoming material which has potential to replace cement in the construction industry. Cement is very polluting and has negative effects on our environment. Ferroc, however, acts in a completely different way and actually serves as a sort of sponge to carbon dioxide, meaning it is better for the environment when compared to cement. Many believe that cement is the strongest of its kind. However, ferroc holds many of the same characteristics as cement and is just as strong, if not stronger, while still being versatile like cement. When laying Portland cement, a ton of carbon dioxide is released into the environment. This has caused a negative effect on our ecosystem over time, and ferroc has the potential to absorb the carbon dioxide produced over time as it dries. Ferroc has not been used a ton in industry, which leaves a big question mark on its effectiveness. However, on paper, this material seems 
I could com replace Portland Cement in the long run and act as the next big step to a healthier way of industry. The demand for cement is always high, and it is said for every ton of cement produced, there's also about a ton of carbon dioxide released. This number is substantial and could be greatly reduced to the use of Ferroc. Ferroc is actually more flexible than cement, which means it could serve better in the long run because there would be no cracks or limited cracks. One of the most interesting things I learned about Ferroc is that it's made from recycled materials. Unlike cement, Ferroc will be using materials that have already been used, so it is a real true greener solution.